Hi everybody, it is Cindy. It is Friday, April 20th, TGIF. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the beautiful comments people leave. And I'm going to get on to some special finishes. I do want to start with, uh, the last time I did a video was Good Friday. And when I woke up Easter morning, the first thing I ever do every morning I wake up is I go to my sliding door and open the blinds so I could see the birds at the bird feeder. And I had bought a new camera several months ago and I've been trying to get pictures of a blue jay that is my favorite bird and I could not get a picture. But Easter morning I came out, I saw two blue jays eating on the ground under the feeder because they're actually pretty big birds. They, they wouldn't eat on the feeder, they'd probably be hanging and toppling the thing. But um, I ran and got my camera, I came back and they were gone. I was like, oh, they're always gone. So I waited five minutes, they came back. I got some amazing pictures of the bluebirds. I'm gonna include one right here. Yes, blue is my favorite color. That is why they are my favorite bird. Um, at the end, I'm gonna show a slideshow of all the pictures I got. It was pretty amazing. It was an amazing Easter gift. Uh, I hope everybody had an awesome Easter. And I'm going to get on to what I've been stitching. Let's start. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start with is here a peep, there a peep. And I finished it into an oval pillow. And I used uh, felt, wool felt for the back. And I did cording that I made. And I also used chenille trim to give it a double uh, finish there love this piece it's been sitting by my fireplace with all of my Easter things I have not put my Easter stuff away with the weather we've been having um, yeah hot one day cold the next day spring is here but we've been having crazy weather just like everybody else but there it is it's a beautiful piece love this piece and this is this over here this stitching over here stands out so it's not an exact oval so I had to really play with it uh, to finish it but I do love the piece I love the colors in it so that was the first finish the next thing I'm going to share is my stocking um, I have been working on the stocking and as you know I've been working on this for a while and I picked it up and I was stitching on it and then I had ordered a kit and the kit came and I dropped everything I mean everything I was working on I stitched this piece and I finished it last night and I will be sharing that but um I didn't put in as much time as I wanted to on this. A part of me wants to finish this piece and a part of me doesn't because I love stitching on this piece, if that makes sense. But there you go. It is beautiful. And I actually worked on, I backstitched the watering can and I, you see I'm starting to put in the flowers there. I did background. Um, I did do some stitching, but not as much as I wanted to because something else caught my attention but it's beautiful it's looking great so I'm happy with that the next piece that I've been working on my sister Carol came by a couple weeks ago and Carol lip gloss and eyeliner that's all I'm wearing she's like you wear too much makeup I'm like I'm only wearing lip gloss and eyeliner that's all I'm wearing so anyway I had to say that Carol all right so I've been working she came over and she saw like I have my Easter display and a couple of different displays of course that she's like, you have too much stuff. She goes, it looks like a museum in here. I'm like, what? And she's like, you do too many smalls, no more smalls. What? <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I'm stopping doing smalls. I really enjoy stitching small pieces. She's like, you should give everything away. I'm like, okay, that's never going to happen. <laughs> I'm not giving all my stuff away. So I did start on a new piece, Carol, and it's called Ball Quilt by Stony Creek. And I love the colors in it. It has beautiful colors. And this is a little bit bigger piece. <laughs> um, and this is what I stitched so far. I really enjoy stitching on this. You can see I got the sunflower here, and let me get in close. You can see there's four blocks like this for the quilt block. I love the colors in this. And it does have the uh, autumn saying on it. 
So I have been working on that. And this piece I really enjoy uh, working on. Now the reason why I do stitch a lot of smalls is when I had lost everything a couple years ago, I wanted to replace all my Christmas ornaments and my displays. And so that's why I've really been doing a lot of small pieces. I will get into doing larger pieces again, but I enjoy the smalls. I enjoy the process of finishing them and doing different things with them. Smalls is just something I really enjoy and I'm never giving that up. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> now, the next piece I'm gonna show you is the piece that it really caught my attention. And where I saw this pattern is I was pinning some pin pictures to Pinterest and I saw this, this, this stitched up piece and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that pattern. And this is a Russian kit. This came from Russia. It's called In an Autumn Mood. And the kit was amazing. I really, really enjoyed this kit. But that, let's see if I'm going to get rid of the glare. That was the piece that caught my eye and I had to stitch it. The, key, the piece is done on a 32 count Murano even weave. It had DMC floss. It had four different chronic threads, and there's a lot of chronic in this piece. It has crystals, bobbles, beads, it has everything. And it's, it came with a John James needle. It was a very well together kit. I purchased it on eBay, and it was only $30, including shipping. So this kit was well worth the money. Now I'm gonna show you a little part of the uh, pattern. Now you'll never be able to stitch a pattern from this. This is a big piece. I usually copy all of my patterns but this piece was so big, I didn't want to go and copy it. It wouldn't fit on my copier. And I actually highlighted and filled it in as I was stitching it. But the company, if you're interested, is www.lansvit.com. And there you could see I highlighted the pattern, filling it in. But what I love about this pattern is when you go to back stitch it on the back, it's just the, the back stitching part, and it makes it so easy when you're doing back stitching. Back stitching could be challenging if it's on the exact pattern over what you're stitching. So the pattern was designed beautifully. An excellent pattern, highly recommend it. Um, I'm gonna show you what was left from the DMC. Not, not a whole lot. You could see it was all kitted up nice, the colors, super easy. As far as the chronic, I hardly had any chronic left on the kit. So doing kits, I always worry about, am I gonna have enough? Is there gonna be enough to stitch the whole piece? I mean, I did have enough to stitch the whole piece. This piece is amazing, and I don't know what it is about this piece that I had to stitch it, but I did have to stitch this beautiful piece. And there's so much, you could see all the, sparkle and the shine and it's an amazing piece I love it it has a lot of sparkle let me see if I could see the um the chronic is really you could see it a little right there there you go there's a ton of chronic in this and this piece was definitely challenging it was a lot of blended threads I didn't realize it was a lot of blended threads there was also a ton of let me see the exact wording these mini left half cross stitches in this piece and my brain doesn't think left it always thinks right when I'm stitching I always start bottom left to up upper right bottom left to upper right so I had to keep catching myself because it's it's a mini left cross and it was a challenge for me. This, this was a challenge. I thought about this piece. I had to, sometimes a challenge is good, but I love this piece. This piece I will be framing. It's not a big piece, but this was a very intricate piece. It was small stitches, a lot of half stitches, four different chronics. <laughs> Working with chronic is never easy. And, um, but the, the ended, the ending product. Yeah, look at the sparkle in her hair. She's got the Swarovski beads and it's a beautiful piece. I'm super happy with that piece. So I did finish that yesterday. Yay. And then I could get back to my normal stitching. <laughs> Have you ever had a pattern that you just, you got it, you had to stop all presses and just 
do that pattern. That that was what it was like for me. Now, okay, my sister. Okay. <laughs> Now, my sister Carol lives 15 minutes from here, and I, I see her every week. We go, I go either, I usually go over there, but she came over here a couple weeks ago, and um, they like to tease me, and um, <laughs> I'm going to show you what they did. Her and my brother-in-law, because he's got the cricket, I mean, he does all kinds of stuff, and I'm like, too much time on your hands if you're doing this, <laughs> but she did do, yeah. Welcome to Cindy's Stitch thread quilt sewing fabric museum <laughs> seriously <laughs> this is my sister she they like teasing me which is fine with me but that was one and one wasn't enough so they had to do another one and um yeah we have and i can't explain it in a video there's just no way we have this donkey thing so yeah, okay, so they made me another one. Now they, you know, I love to garden. I'm going to show a small slideshow at the end of how my gardening is progressing, but look. Cindy's Garden, a.k.a. Donkeyville. And these are supposed to be sunflowers in the middle. <laughs> that's, that's my sister and brother-in-law. So I had to share that. I'm like, I'm showing those on my video. You made those for me. And then she teases me and... Listen, it's all good. It's in a good way. It's not in a bad way. And now I'm going to move on to Happy Mail. I got so much amazing Happy Mail the past week or so. And, oh, Stitchers are amazing. They really are amazing people. And um, I'm not, where do I start? All right, I'm going to start with what I got first. <laughs> I won't make it easy. Now... The first thing I got was from, I'm going to hold up her card. Carolina Stitcher has a, a blog and she does finishing. I've known Faye for years. I've been following her blog and um, here's her card. Carolina Stitcher, Faye Rigsby. And I'll include a picture at the end so you could pause it and write it down if you need it. And she contacted me and she's like, send me, send me some fabric. I want to make you some uh, stitching bags and I'm like oh my gosh all right thank you and I was so happy I picked out some fabrics and she made me some amazing beautiful uh, bags she does amazing work and um hey thank you so much for doing that for me she said I wanted to uh, she said you're getting approaching your 2,000 subscriber mark so she wanted to do this for me and thank you so much and she does amazing work all right so this is a small pouch. Now, this fabric was hers. Now, she matched mine because on the inside, I sent her these bunnies. And I'll show you the bigger piece. And what I love about it, her little tag, it says Carolina. And then Stitcher on the back. It's so cute. I love the colors in this. And then the big one I sent the fabrics was the bunny rabbits. Because I love my bunnies. I love the colors. And she did the zipper bag. And I sent her the, um, the matching was a lighter color of the bunny. So, Faye, thank you so much. I hope someday you will join Plus Tube. You would be an, an amazing addition to this community. And I know a lot of people would feel that way. So maybe someday you'll do it. Thank you. The next one uh, that I got, hold on one second, let me grab them all. The next gift I got was from a Lynette from homesteading on the home front. And she sent me this beautiful card and a, a, a really nice note inside. Lynette, thank you so much. She sent me three packs of seeds and two other packs with sunflowers. But Lynette, I planted those already. And there's gonna be, the whole left side of the front of my house will be my Lynette garden because I planted all those sunflower seeds in there and it'll be pretty amazing. Uh, she also sent me, these are squash seeds. So I will be planting those soon. She saw this pattern and she thought of me and she's like, oh, would you want? I'm like, oh, sure. And it, it's sunflowers. Thank you so much, Lynette. And she made me really, oh, she made these cards. They're beautiful. Got the watering cans in them and they're all different. And 
Look at that, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. I used to make my own cards. I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So thank you so much. And I, you know I have a package waiting for you and your girls when you get back. So I know it'll be a couple more weeks. As soon as you get back, send me your address. That box is waiting to go out. Uh, the next thing I got... This is from uh, Jennifer Upton. Uh, she has also a Floss Tube channel. Oh, this is so pretty. She sent me a beautiful card, sunflower needle minder, and she sent me also a sunflower chart. This is a small one. This one, I, I really, I'll get back to doing my small zip, but I was working on that piece, and she's, she made me this beautiful pillow. And Jennifer, I know you have two little kids, so I know how much time it, it took out of your day to make this for me. And I so, it is gorgeous. It has the gardening beads and the garden scene and the, the finishing of the pillow. It's beautiful. It's got the bright colors. And I have this book that she got the pattern from. So, yeah. Thank you so, so much. I, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful piece. Gorgeous. And the next piece that I got, give me one second while I grab that. And the next piece I got was from Tiffany at Express Life Tifa. She has a floss tube also. This is so pretty. Flowers. Enjoy the little things. And what she did on the back, I love the back. She did, she cross-stitched my initials and her initials and it's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Tiffany. And we've been emailing back and forth. She's definitely a special, talented crafter. She does all, all, you know quilting and cross stitch, and she has a blog, uh, a video blog too, her floss tube. So I'll include the names below of everybody. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it's amazing this community um, to get. Those packages, well, we could, it's amazing to me. It, it always surprises you and it takes you by surprise. Now, I know Stitch Mania is coming up. I don't do Stitch Mania. I don't belong to Facebook. I don't do Instagram. But I do love seeing everybody stitch the Stitch Mania and what projects they want to do and how they're going to do it, what their spin is going to be on it. I don't participate in that. I stitch a lot as it is. This is my hobby. That would stress me out, knowing that I had to do certain things at a certain time. I like the stitching what I want, when I want, and I stitch a lot, so I don't need to do that. But I do enjoy seeing what everybody is putting together in their videos, so that's coming up soon. I do have a trip, a work trip to uh, Florida. It's a trip I earn each year, and um, my oldest daughter is coming on this trip, and I haven't seen her in three years, so I'm super excited to see her. And, you know, I know there's prayer, prayer warriors out there. Pray for me for safe travels for us. I'm, I'm not big on going for TSA, <laughs> but it is what it is. It, it's a short trip to Florida. It's for a weekend, and that's at the first week of May. Hence why no retreats and stuff in May and June. I already have a trip coming up, and I knew that was coming up, so... um. I'm looking forward to seeing the videos of all of the, um, you know, you have StitchCon coming up in June, which is soon. You have the New Jersey retreat, which is in May. And I know Ingeborg and uh, Allie, they're coming in from other countries. So all oh, kudos to them. It's coming up soon, ladies. You, you'll be flying and having fun soon. So I'm looking forward to the videos and the posts about the gatherings and, you know, what they saw and things like that. that that's going to be super exciting for everyone, so I'm looking forward to that. On that note, everyone, it is Friday. Have an awesome stitching weekend. Whatever you're doing, have lots of fun. Happy stitching, and I'm going to include those videos. I wanted to give you a view of what this piece looks like before it is backstitched. And even just the way it is right now is a beautiful piece. And I'm going to go in and try and get all of the sparkle.
Look at all the sparkle in this piece. It's a beautiful piece. And now I'm going to go do the back stitching. This is an update on the garden. I did plant all my seeds. As you can see, I have the kale coming up already, the Swiss chard, and the spinach. Over here, you can see I have all the lettuces planted, and they're all starting to sprout. So, yes, they're starting to sprout. You can hear all the birds in the background. This is my herb garden. As you can see, the rosemary is doing amazing. This is my oregano. Look at how big that got already. Black eyed uh, Susans are right here. They're starting to come up. All of my mints are sprouting. And I'm going to take you around front now. We are at the front of the house, and this is where I plant a lot of the sunflowers. Oh, got the bush here, and it's starting to bloom. All the way down, I planted marigolds, nasturtiums, and I'm going to show you the bleeding heart bush. There are some sunflowers already popping up. These are flowers over here that are going to start to bloom. This is flowers also. This is getting really big, and that'll be blooming soon also. And then you go over here. I did purchase um, my bleeding heart bush. I had one in New York when I owned my home for 25 years, and I've missed this so much, and I love this. Look at the hearts all over it. It's beautiful. Over here, I planted bee balm. So that was just planted. I got a small rose bush here, and over here I got the large rose bush. And those have buds on it, so that'll be blooming soon. This is the left side of the house. This garden I had cleaned out this year. I couldn't clean it out when I purchased the house. It was too much for me to rip out. Uh, with my shoulder, I just don't do things like that. So I had somebody come in. You can see the flowers are starting to bloom here. There's a couple of rose bushes. And all in here, Lynette, I planted all the sunflower seeds. So we shall see how they sprout throughout the season. And that is an update on the garden. Have a great weekend, everyone.